It's all right. It's all right. He acted as though he had not ever been pet with a loving hand. I know. I know. I know. I know. When I would try to bandage him, Gabriel would just scream. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Okay. All right. Good boy. Good boy. This puppy was sold at four weeks old with a congenital deformity and couldn't stand up. The guy who bought him had told us, if you can fix him and make him meaner, I'll take him back. <coughs> we were contacted about two swimmer puppies. All they could do was kind of just move their arms and legs around and they just really didn't go anywhere. <coughs> we had had Uriel and Samael probably 10 days when we got a video of Gabriel. <coughs> He looked just like them. But Gabe was not acting like a five-week-old happy puppy. He was acting like a terrified puppy. And it took us about a week to get to the point where it's okay. Gabe wagged his tail at us. It's all right, but it's going to hurt you. The triplets, you can tell they're all from the same breeding feeding them. We would put potty pads down and lay them on the potty pads so they could eat. There wasn't even a bowl or a plate shallow enough to where they could eat. The goal in our minds the first four weeks wasn't even sanding. We had to get them to where they were breathing, eating, and drinking comfortably. You need to be in the grass. The point of the box is you want it about up the width of the puppy. So when you put them in there, they're forced to stay up so they can't splay their arms out. So then they would learn to kind of walk in there. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. We were screaming like crazy people to get them excited. Oh, your eyes winning! Your eyes winning! You guys see it! Come on! try to make it all as fun and not work as possible just so they would learn to accept it just a little bit they were about 12 weeks they were all standing that was a pretty proud moment they were up and it was all three of them at once we went from these three puppies who couldn't even move and they were all three standing there eating together Hi everyone, we definitely have our hands full and we are definitely exhausted, but progress is being made. And what really I think made them want to get up is the weather started to be better and we were outside with all the big dogs and they wanted to go with the big dogs. It just made them work a little bit harder. But Gabriel had another setback after that. He started limping on his left front elbow and we finally took x-rays and then that's when we saw that he had the congenital elbow luxation. The orthopedic surgeon said he's going to be a heavy dog so the best thing is you just amputate it rather than him have a life of pain. So. After being a swimmer puppy and congenitally deformed, now Gabriel had to learn to walk all over again. It was constant crying. So getting ready to drop off Gabriel. Because I just said, if he doesn't get up, there's no alternative. And you know that damn dog got right up the next day. You got it. We both cried, just happy tears, because he is determined. Come here, Gabe. Come here, Gabe. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Oh, my goodness. I know, baby. I know. I know. I'm gonna go home now, okay? But what's odd about Gabe is that he almost seemed better walking as a three-legged dog. Good morning. Because I think the pain was gone and he was fine. The triplets, they have affected me more than the 50 plus fosters that we've ever had because we invested an entire summer of our lives in these puppies. 
Uriel went to one of our best family friends, and what's lovely about that is we still see Uriel all the time. Samayo. I just knew that she was going to be a dog that needed help for the rest of her life, and I, I wasn't going to let her go. Samayo, we propose to you to be your family. Gabe's special. Come on, Gabe, baby! <laughs> I remember the moment Terry had messaged me and she said, what do you think of me adopting Gabriel? And it was like a dream come true. See, there's mommies and there's waters. The morning of Gabe's amputation, I said, Anne, can we adopt it? And she said, sure, of course, <laughs> of course we will. I just knew he needed to be our boy. I have multiple sclerosis and so I thought, then he would be her best friend. When we first brought him home, we started physical therapy with him. Good boy. Good job. Good job, buddy. Now it's like, okay, Gabe, slow down. You're going to get a ticket. There's a speed limit. Good morning. He doesn't walk anywhere. He runs everywhere. Oh, come on, Gabe. Yay. Gabe is swimming for the first time. When he started swimming, it was like, oh my god. Good job. It's just like he's always been here. I tell people we hit the jackpot with Gabe. Gabe's been swimming for a bit and he's wore himself out. He would like to take a nap in the pool.